Hello chicas, welcome back. How are you guys doing? Today we're working with this beautiful design uh, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So then let's begin with the products. This one is the opal white that I've been using non-stop you guys. You guys know that. We're also going to be using this pink one by Nail Supply Glamour. This is the N4. And also a white. We're going to need a white. This one is from Decori. You can find this brand on eBay or Amazon. Just type in the word and it's going to pop in like in a quick second, you guys. I promise. So anyway, this is all I'm going to be doing on the nails, you guys. Uh, all I do is kind of fade upwards this opal color the opal I make it myself you guys it's like a milky white I believe glamming glitz has one all I do is um, in my in my little mortal and pestle or mortal mortal and pestle or <laughs> I don't know you guys I really don't know I'm trying my best here trust me I'm trying my best but sometimes words just it's hard it's it's some some words are really hard to pronounce and I try my best for you guys because people get mad because I don't speak Spanish right and people get mad because I don't speak English right so it's like oh crap what do I do but I try my best I promise anyway um, how I create my mix is by adding let's say 10 spoons of clear acrylic and I'm only gonna be adding uh, maybe three spoons of white why because the white is very pigmented and it and we want that milky white we don't want uh, like you know like really really white we want it to be kind of transparent as you see here we don't want it to look really really opaque so we want that transparency you know what I mean I hope that makes sense anyway I know you guys I know it looks kind of funky right now and you guys are like you probably are like what what is she doing is this gonna be the design but yes this is gonna be the design and it doesn't really matter how you fade the the color upwards just because we are gonna be applying uh decoration on top right after we're done there's gonna be some 3d and there's gonna be some gold foil so it doesn't really matter how it looks you know it, it, it doesn't really matter if it's you know if it's perfect on art or not i'm sorry um if you want to perfect it go ahead but trust me you guys it's useless there's gonna be decoration on top so anyway right after I'm done with this um, I'm gonna be capping all of the nails again using my NSI acrylic system and you guys like I said <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect uh, the white or the milky white the opal just because there's gonna be stuff on top right after we're done um, capping all the nails shaping and forming so um you know you gotta trust the process you guys it sometimes it's gotta look ugly before it looks its best so trust the process um and yeah also i'm also using my i think it's number 14 brush i believe so you guys i'm here like right in front of my desk and i'm doing this voiceover and um, I really don't know which brush I was using here. I don't know if it was the number 10 or the number 14. But it will either or, you guys, you can find them through Nail Supply Glamour. They are, you know, located in Dallas, Texas. And they have such a bomb website. Um, I believe that after $75 that you spend on their website, uh, you get free shipping. So it's totally worth it, you guys. I've, I've made millions. <laughs> well, not millions, you guys, but... Um, you know, I, I've made a lot of purchases in their website and I truly, truly stand by their, by their products. They're, they're really good. They have Glam and Glitz, they have Mia Secret, and they also have their own brand if you guys want to go check them out. Okay. So right here, you guys, I had already finished capping and then I went ahead and shaped, buffed, and, um, you know, the whole shebang. And then I'm gonna come in with a black painting gel. I'm gonna be drawing these lines downwards with a striping brush. Is it called a stri uh, liner brush, striping brush? Whatever it's called, you know. <laughs> um, 
again i don't know all of the words you guys so please bear with me i try my best and then i'm gonna be drawing these lines you know in the middle finger and also in the ring finger and then i go ahead and cap i'm, I'm sorry then i go ahead and pop it in the lamp for about 60 seconds you could put it in for 30 but i like to ensure my work so i put it in there for 60. Then after that's cured, I go in with my bling adhesive by Zulai, which I truly stand by this one as well. I love it for stones, big stones, little stones, tiny stones, medium stones. It doesn't really matter. Your stones will be there until you come back with your nail tech, I promise you. Or if you're a nail tech, um, your clients won't have, you know... Uh, problems with stones falling and stuff your your clients will be coming in back with the same stones in their uh, on their on their nails so now I'm gonna go ahead and do some 3d nail art and um, this design you guys I did find it through Instagram so I'm gonna be having I'm gonna be having um, it's a recreation so I'm gonna be having her, her Instagram name down below in the description box just in case you want to go follow her I do love her work as well uh, she does really really beautiful work and I am not I wanna you know I'm not copying her work by any means you guys I am giving her credit because that's the right thing to do because this is not my this is not my work you know, I mean it's my work but this is not my idea you know her work is just really really pretty and I saw this design and I'm like I want to recreate it I really want to recreate it so I came here and recreated it for you guys and I really hope you guys enjoy it but um, it didn't come out as pretty as hers especially the 3d you guys my 3d kind of sucks still I'm still learning with you guys don't think I'm a pro or anything because I am not I still struggle and trust me you guys um, the struggle is real it's it's a little you know it is a little hard you guys i've been in um you know doing nails for the past like six years and i've been practicing and it's still you know i'm still practicing and uh, I've, I've gotten a little better a little bit but trust me you guys i'm not there i'm not at the point where i can say i do love my 3d and um I can trust myself doing any 3D because I, 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 you know, I can't. I can't. It's, to me, it's really hard. It's been a struggle. So, okay, anyway, right here, I'm going to be adding my Gelixir foil gel. Pop that in the lamp, you guys, for 60 seconds. It has to be cured for 60 seconds because if you don't, it is not going to get cured and your foil is not going to glue. So what I'm doing is gonna I'm gonna be placing down my this is a gold foil that I got a long time ago from I, I don't know if it was AliExpress or eBay. I would buy from a whole lot of places, you guys. I was going crazy when I first started. So I've had this um foil for a very long time. So anyway, uh I just place it down on the nail, lift it, and boom, there it is. And then um, you don't have to do anything else to it, you guys. It's going to stay there until you apply your top coat. You're going to see that in a minute. Don't do anything else to it, like I said, until you go with your top coat. So the next, I'm going to be applying some little tiny stones. I believe these are number fives. And I always leave you guys links to mm, pretty much everything that I use like on the, on the regular videos. You know, um, so I think I leave you guys the seller to where I purchased these stones which are from eBay and they are not Swarovskis but they are very you know they have a very good quality is that is that what I'm trying to say <sighs> okay you guys um anyway now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my top coat this one is from wonder <laughs> wonder gel top coat and I'm I'm applying a thin coat all over the nails popped in the lamp Pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds and that'll be it. So yes, chicas, that is it for today's design. I really hope you guys enjoy it. And um, again, like I say in every single video, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And like always, leave a big thumbs up. Comment, be the judges, tell me what you guys think. 
and any petitions any requests please leave them in the comment section so yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video see you guys in the next one take care stay safe god bless bye bye